Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulillah. There's an old English tradition which says charity begins at home. And nobody knew this better than the most knowledgeable of the companions, Mu'ad ibn Jabal. May Allah be pleased with him. Because the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, sent him to teach people about Islam. And he said, Sadaqatan tu'khadh min aghniyaihim wa turaddu ala fuqaraihim. That charity should be taken from the rich ones amongst them and given to the poor ones amongst them. And what we see here is this emphasis on giving charity to people who are within your close proximity. We know that the most valuable of charity is that which is given to the ones who are closest to us because this has a ripple effect. And so what happens, we see the emphasis on giving to our families, on giving to our neighbors and the people in our streets, the people in our cities, the people in our regions. And what happens is the effect of this spreads. And one person who knew this in our context was Sheikh Abdullah Quilliam. Over 120 years ago in Victorian Britain, the charity which they were giving had such an impact locally that today, unfortunately, in the year we live in now, we do not see the likes of the community service and the work which they did back then. So for example, over 120 years ago in Great Britain, this community had established an orphanage. They had homeless projects. They were looking after uh, and had shelters for women. They were feeding the poor and the needy and they had so many of these things. Why? Because they understood this concept of charity being most important for the people who are closest around us. And this way, the benefit of it spreads all around the world.